after those fires. Firefighters are battling growing fires in the Inland Empire. The Elisa Fire near Moreno Valley has burned more than 800 acres and the Hesperia Fire over 1,000. Let's get to KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez in Moreno Valley where smoke and ash are creating air quality issues. Rick, how is it out there this morning? Yeah, Christine and Chris, right now it is hazy and we can show it to you. Difficult to see where exactly the smoke is because it's so hazy as the sun is now up, but we are not seeing any direct sunlight. These are good conditions, though, for firefighters as they still work to get containment around the fire, at least in this area here near Moreno Valley. But we know that there is another fire that's impacting uh, the other parts of the Inland Empire. This one here, though, look at this time lapse video. You can see the smoke plumes billowing as the fire gets larger. More than 860 acres burned since the fire started yesterday afternoon. First reported here in the area of Gilman Springs Road and Alessandro Boulevard. That was around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Fire crews say when they arrived, the fire had already burned more than 70 acres. At last report, it is at 20% containment. Now, let's show you this next clip here so we can see the air quality map for the Inland Empire. Overnight, moderate to unhealthy air quality for much of the IE valleys and mountains. And that is also because of a second fire burning up near Hesperia. This is near the Mojave River Forks Regional Park off of Highway 173. Cal Fire reports this one at more than 1,000 acres burned and also at 20% containment. They say crews had to work to protect critical power lines and natural gas pipelines. They also say you may still be able to see smoke for miles. But the South Coast Air Quality Management District says there are things we can do for our own safety during and after fires, like staying inside with your air conditioning running if you have clean air filters. Avoid outdoor activity so you're not breathing in a lot of that smoke. Avoid using whole house fans or swamp coolers because that draws in air from the outside. And also after the fire, if you have to clean up any ash or anything around your house, avoid skin contact while you're doing that. Fire crews this morning are still going to be at both locations working to build those containment lines. Even if the fire is out completely, they still have to get a line around the entire fire at each location before they can declare a full knockdown. So they still have the, a lot of work ahead of them. Live near Moreno Valley, Rick Montanez, KCAL News. Yeah, some good reminders. You can see just how bad the air quality is behind your live shot. All right, Rick, thank you.